Oh, but let's go ahead into back into one player that we could, uh, previously saw earlier. It is going to be Ketchup versus YMCA. YMCA uh, also getting that top 24 in winners. in winner's and side. not just top 24, he's won a set. Cause he's up against Ketchup, who we already saw win a, a set today. Mm -hmm. And, of course, YMCA also did really, really good the first MSM back offline. He did. So, yeah, and he was actually one of those players I, di I did hear, like, he was he was going to the small segregated smash fast whenever he could he was always grinding and that grind has paid off funny enough because of the wario nurse that was the character we did see ymca play for quite some time and then now he's gone back to dk and he's actually cemented himself as the best dk in socal because he is the only player with the current results he has now yeah super impressive dk play and we're going to see him going now if I recall correctly, I believe Ketchup is up in this head-to-head. -head. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know well enough like any sort of numbers to throw them out. Either way, though, this matchup seems like it would be incredibly difficult for Donkey Kong, especially because of how optimized Ketchup's punish game is. He's got these combos on lock with the up air, looking like Fox up B, going to connect into the hammer as well. I'm liking the use of the spinning Kong. So uh, we did see how, okay, so YMCA was able to get here at 2-0-ing Marvelous Marco. The infamous Marvelous Marco for those of you guys winning here. But, uh, of course, YMCA is up against Ketchup, like you said. Ketchup probably has a bigger lead. And want to confirm from the Koopa, from, from the Mecha Koopa immediately to that area. But that was good, too, because he covers that low recovery that DK has. But also, DK doesn't have the best recovery uh, of all. So the YMCA, unfortunately, is going to fall to that. But that's going to be much to Ketchup understanding how the character recovers. Yeah, and Vance, I just noticed this is where semifinals of MSM. Yeah. These two players are already in our top five. And that's, I just am amazed, like, how much work these two are putting, especially, like, to be in this position, I suppose. Yeah, and well, and that's the thing about Ketchup as a whole, too. He's always been one of those players who's not afraid to show up to a Smash face, but also show up to a local even after work, after the gym. After, after some kind of family function, he has been one of those players who's not afraid to show up for that grind, and YMCA is also a player who's not afraid to go to that grind. And that, that work, the ethic has definitely paid off for both players here. YMCA up, I wouldn't even say up, just even two stocks here, but Ketchup still with a really strong lead. And it's gonna be a great pummel into the fourth throw, giving Ketchup the stage control. And what a great attempt to read the roll, but YMCA breaks out with that up B, able to get a little bit of stage control there. Yeah, and we actually, we saw Ketchup go for the jab, got the first hit jab, wouldn't have killed if it connected, but it would have been a lot of good damage and good stage position. But YMCA picking the right option with the spinning Kong out of shield has super armor on it. And obviously a jab's not going to break through that on its own. Yeah. Good for Ketchup, though, looking to get away back on the stage. Sends out that back air just to force YMCA into, okay, if you try to chase me, there will be an aerial there. What an up smash to catch the aerial. And Ketchup has such a strong lead over YMCA. YMCA is still looking for an opportunity. That's a great up air. No combo. I mean, being on PS2, this does give YMCA access to the Ding Dong. But with the way that Ketchup is playing, he is just shutting down YMCA before he even gets a chance. Yeah, Ketchup is a very slippery player. It's so hard to grab him. We see YMCA go for it, but that max base forward tilt, not going to do it for him. That was actually really unfortunate for YMCA. It looked like he actually could have connected that into the up air, mm -hmm. but a bit of hesitation. He runs off the platform as well, so he's just a little bit too low to make it connect. Oh, no, taking the Mecha Koopa into the forward air. Good for catcher. Oh, Did that hit him? That's ridiculous. I thought that side, that side of me has one of the most ridiculous ranges I've seen so far. But the fact that it's still, it's the range is pretty crazy, but the burial as well, that's good for YMCA, but man, before for catcher. Even stocks here, YMCA has a lot to play against. Like I said, I'm not too keen on the Ding Dong percents, but that is does have that's something YMCA can do is juggle on a stage on PS2 and catch up nose. I gotta hold the lead as much as I can. 35%, pull out this Mecha Koopa and give YMCA something to play against on the ground. Yeah, and we're seeing catch up take no chance. Photo kill here, he is at 108. I was gonna say, yeah, Photo should kill. <laughs> and I like that. Even like before, Ketchup just looks at him and is like, "Are we running it back?" And Ryan says, "Yeah, we're running it back." <laughs> but that's also a good setup from Ketchup. He, I think, one of the things about Ketchup is his really good use and understanding of Mecha Koopa as a tool in the neutral, and understanding when is the best time and when is the worst time to go for it. He's never somebody to just spam that out there. He know, like I said, even in that matchup against Arrow, he knows. Like, okay, cool. Am I winning? Cool. Let me pull this out. Why? Like you said, it's a full 60 frames. 
like that's a slow projectile to pull out and he knows when's the best time and how to trap his opponents on the ground that way well and that is a good reaction there from ymca realizes he's fallen out of the down air catcher will probably press another bind after to try and you know pick it up and just using the spain kong to get a neutral opening but now catcher able to find his footing once again gets that grab gets up to 48 percent ymca i like the use of the f as well He's just kind of staying in it, outboxing Donkey Kong at all times. All right, pulling a Mecha Koopa, and YMCA just kind of lets it hit him. It's threatening, you know. I don't, I don't need that. You can, you can give me that percent. I want it. <laughs> I want the rage. All right, full jab. He gets that full shield pushback. But wow, I like that. He's able to slip through from all the shield pushback and get away from it. But no side special from YMCA. It does have armor. What a confirm from the Mecha Koopa. Like I said, he's so well in tune of how that projectile works. He knows every little intricate interaction he's got. I like the high recovery from YMCA. Very aggressive. Realizes what Ketchup's trying to set up and says, I give you no time yeah. at all to set up on it. Nice. Good good tech chase all the way up the forward air, stopping YMCA before he can even grab the ledge. Neutral air. Nice. Oh, but good with, good with uh, YMCA. Able to get that way, tech roll. To way survive. too high a percent there to ding dong uh, catch up and you know maybe if ketchup's not aware of the percent that's a sigh of relief in his head like oh i'm past the percent i don't have to be so scared of dying to grab but you do have to be scared of dying of that back air yeah dk back air has got some quite some range good enough knockback to even combo into itself but also get stocks when it matters the most good for catcher to understand you know a mecha koopa is out there even if he doesn't get an attack i have cannonball to cover that mecha koopa to interact with that and even then, I still have center stage control. Those are three things Ketchup understood in that situation. Nice, able to move towards center stage. That's the thing too about Ketchup too. It's the way he's able to move oh. around with his character and just try to find center stage and get control back. Good for YMCA, man, because he had Ketchup a little bit clenched there for that last second. I was terrified for Ketchup. I thought he was going to hit Mecha Koopa fair and just kill Ketchup. Oh, right before the starting frames of the armor. Here comes the big combos from Ketchup. 57% oh, of the All from now. up air, too. And a good platform reset and continues this with such a lead all the way to the back air. But YMCA is still fighting. Mecha Koopa in hand. He knows he has to hold and shield it because it will run out of timer. Yeah, and it gives Ketchup just a bit of an opportunity to land a bit safer. He knows that's coming. YMCA showed his cards a little early with that landing side beat. Ketchup not oh. going to fall for it. And that's going to be another down th downward thrown Mecha Koopa into the photo. But this is winner semifinals. This is a best of five. Exactly. Ketchup has the 2-0 lead, but YMCA has the opportunity to catch up. The, thi the thing here is, for the reason, and I spoke it earlier, if anybody missed it, the reason is that he can throw that Mecha Koopa downward and if DK goes for a low recovery or just a recovery in general, that recovery for DK is so vulnerable from the top. So that Mecha Koopa will stop him and it'll confer unfortunately for Ketchup. Sorry, for YMCA into that forward air and that'll take the stock. So Ketchup kinda knows how to cover all his bases when it comes to his opponents able to try to land on the ledge. Alright, well game three here, Ketchup over the 2-0 lead. YMCA, let's see if he's got some kind of downloads. Still on PS2. Ketchup is really comfortable to just giving YMCA at the stage. He knows he has such a big lead that it, anything that DK might try to attempt to go when it comes to a grab or a landing option, he can just snuff it out. I think, because let's say they do bands. What, what's Ketchup band? Battlefield and Smashville probably. Very yeah. small stages that Donkey Kong has access to the Ding Dong as well on. That you kind of are just choosing the lesser evil here by giving him Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, and because of that, the lesser of two evils turns out to be the better of the, uh, the best evil force you can have against YMCA is giving him that comfort of a stage, and then essentially taking away a lot of that comfort, knowing that okay, cool, I can move around DK this way, I can play around DK with Mecha Koopa. It's all about getting my opponent to fall into that whiff punish opportunities that I can get, that I can take away from him. It'll stop YMCA from going for those attempts, and that's why we see that two only with Ketchup. I am the back here, Ketchup taking the lead. Just two stocks away from Punter's ticket to winner's finals of MSM. 
And that's big for Ketchup, man. He's definitely one of those players who has been saying, like, you know what? Now is my time to shine. He unfortunately had a really, really rough bracket this past Saturday at a local. But you know what? He's here at MSM, one of the strongest, arguably a regional in on itself. And he's going to prove why he's still one of the best players, why he can be one of the best players in SoCal. Whoa! So that was good. He went for Empty Hub particularly just to try to see how things can move around YMCA. Tried to read the potential role from YMCA, but unfortunately YMCA was not going to falter there. And YMCA was able to get that cargo throw. Yeah, I like that he you know, realized he missed the Ding Dong hat. He's out of percent. Just able to go off stage and carry him. I'm kind of surprised that it actually just killed off the side. Ketchup did not mash out of that grab. Yeah, and the thing too is sometimes, I might be crazy, but sometimes mashing out of DK cargo throw feels impossible at times a higher percent because it is definitely a hold that gets you forever. But what a what a situation to force that roll with how he played with his projectiles here. That's the one thing about Ketchup. He likes to force his opponents into situations he has planned out the entire time. Up throw, yeah, here comes the up air train all the way around the stage into the air. Man, he's corner carried this man back to the left side. YMC has a chance for the ding dong, but catch up at that percent, saving his jump, he is able to get away. <laughs> YMC literally just reeled back in his chair when he missed the ding dong. Oh, like. Yeah. He felt it, and he knows that's the one thing he needs to help him get back this lead. Mecha Kubo is going to be that insurance for Ketchup, as it is on the ground. And unfortunately, YMCA will be haunted by it. Yeah, and that's the uncharacteristic Mecha Koopa pull. Like, we talked so much about how Ketchup's so good about safely pulling the Mecha Koopa. I think that's the first time we've seen him do it in his opponent's face all night. Yeah, I like that. He throws it out. He says, hey, YMCA, do me a favor. Interact with this so I can get back on the stage. What? And get control. Excuse me? Oh, what a call out. Yeah, it's not safe there anymore. It's, it's not safe there anymore. First time, shame. You know what they say, right? First time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. And I don't want the shame to be on me. I want to get a point here. And that will be one, two of YMCA finally calling out Ketchup yeah. for that. And we saw him twice in that same situation. Ketchup pulled out the Mecha Koopa, and it was unsafe. And yeah. he jumps over, uses the armor from the giant punch and just obliterates Ketchup stock. And yeah. he was even down three the, to one, and, and the, fir the first, yeah, he, like, that, that was just crazy is why MCA was able to make the comeback. The first time Ketchup had a really good idea. Okay, cool, YMCA has to interrupt with this. This will give me a lot of opportunities. Second time YMCA is like, forget it. I'm just gonna go in because there's 60 frames on that. I might as well take the time to punish you. And like, it doesn't even matter if he gets hit by the Michael Koopa. At worst, he trades and Ketchup still dies. Exactly. The risk reward factor was really good. Oh no, okay. He's still living with that back air. What? what a situation to be caught up in here, but Ketchup really in his chair backwards. He is not gonna give up. He is putting full throttle pedal to the metal. I think Ketchup just woke up a little bit. Maybe he was trying to get a little complacent with his 2-0 lead over YMCA. Says, yeah. Okay, I'm going to winner's finals. I'm making top three at this MSM. I mean, losing that game and losing that first stop might just be the reminder Ketchup needs. Like, hey, you are not safe here. Exactly. Do not sleep on the opponent, man. The opponent will make ways to come You're back. You're from the IE catch-up. You know better to sleep. <laughs> yeah, almost definitely. <laughs> I like that. Ketchup, doesn't, ketchup sees that interaction. Let me give a little bit of center stage. Get away. I want a whiff punish. He sees that, that YMC has the punch ready. He has to be able to fight against it. What a downer, but no back air. All right, Ketchup just getting out of that position. Did not want to be there. Did not have to be there was not there any longer. Nice. <laughs> Check the shield, get a grab. That's an up air. That What's crazy is that that killed, but that was also good for Ketchup to understand where is YMCA going to go next? How is he going to try to get back to center stage? Let me stop him. What's my move? Up air. Up air again? Yeah, and this is so good. That's pretty much almost the corner carry, but not a full one here, only two aerials. Nice. This, the distance that Ketchup is able to pull out Mecha Koopa there, it made sense. But earlier when we saw Ketchup take away, lose, lose the YMCA that way, rough spot. And I want to point out because it's probably not something that you'll notice if you aren't looking for it. But right there, Ketchup ran all the way across stage back to leg like he was going to pull Mecha Koopa and immediately got back in YMCA yeah. face to try and bait YMCA into committing to punishing the Mecha Koopa pull. Yeah, it, it, it's, that's the thing here, is he's forcing YMCA to uh, basically interact with Mecha Koopa in a way that he enjoys. And that's the hardest part about fighting against Ketchup. He knows that move. He's definitely adjusted himself from that victory YMCA has gotten. 
Oh, good spot dodge on DK's grab. It's a back air. Oh, zone. this is. The, I was gonna say this might have been dead. This actually might have been dead. You know, Ketchup's looking for that jump every day of the week. Unfortunately, it is Monday. He is still a little groggy. Not able to find <laughs> the, work, the work week has barely started. You know, yeah. <laughs> everybody hates Mondays, right? <laughs> looking like Barfield out here. All right, good, good cross up from Ketchup all the way across the stage too. Understanding, I can't pull the same tricks I've done on Arrow against a player like YMCA. Let me hold this lead as much as possible. I cannot sleep on YMCA at all. Good yep. narrow. He's holding the center stage. What? Right That's as the starting frames of the armor, too. And that lasting hitbox from the forward smash, able to call that out. Ketchup with that 3-1. Yeah, and Ketchup has now guaranteed himself a top.